Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. As you can see, I am not at the farm right now, but we are doing another show this weekend on Saturday, March 11th from 10 to 4 at Hugo's on the Square in Canyon, Texas. And I wanted to take you in and show you what we've got going on. So come on in. So this is Hugo's on the Square. They do wedding and events in this little area. And this was during the setup on Friday for the vendor show. We are all set up and ready to go. Fletcher Farms Amarillo has our tables all set up with our bath bombs, goat milk soap. We also have sugar scrubs. Our Misha bars are made with ingredients you can pronounce. Pure, high quality, food grade, and organic, natural, plant-based oils mixed with therapeutic grade essential oils along with goat milk straight from our goat Misha. All of our soaps and all the other vendors that are gonna be here as well. You wanna say hi? <laughs> yeah, I've got a ton of baby stuff in yeah you do <laughs> these were a few other booths that were set up this one has wood signs and there's also clothing vendors candle makers jewelry makers all kinds of talented people um, at this show so if you're in the area march 11th from 10 to 4 we will be at hugo's on the square in canyon texas but this is the little town of Canyon, Texas. Super cute. Let's show you some of the little stores that are down here. Little stores. There's a restaurant on the corner, which we will be eating at for sure. It's a little uh, Asian restaurant. And then there's the courthouse. And there's a cake place over there. So we'll definitely be eating there too. But this is Canyon. This is the square in Canyon. And we will be here tomorrow for the vendor show at Hugo's on the Square. So let's head back to the farm now and I'll give you an update on Anna because everyone's been wanting to know about Anna and how she's doing. So let's head back to the farm right now. So we made it back from Canyon, got everyone fed for the night. Charlie's eating behind me. You're making a mess too. Yeah, gross, that's gonna be on my head, I'm sure. But since I got back, there's a million mile an hour wind, so I thought I'd come sit with Charlie. Yes, Charlie. And do uh, an update video on Anna. If you don't know Anna's story, Anna was rescued in August from a kill pen in Kemp, Texas. Uh, we saved her just in the nick of time. She was in really, really bad shape. This is Anna's before picture. She was so sad and just skin and bones when we first got her back in August. If you haven't seen Anna's story, I'll put a link in the description below with some of her videos. But she is on the mend now, and we got her taken care of, and got her to the vet, got her some steroid injections for a leg issue that she was having. Charlie, that was disgusting. Uh, he just dropped Alpha Pearl on my head. <laughs> this was my fault for picking his run to go do this in. But got her some steroid, got her a steroid injection for her leg uh, that she was having problems with. She was limping on that back leg and was having some swelling in it. Uh, got her a steroid injection and she's actually doing really well. I think the fact that we had her in a stall, that was disgusting too. <laughs> I think that we had her in a stall for so long to try to get her stronger, um, helped with her integration and all the other horses kind of knew who she was and just uh, just let her into the herd for the most part. So, but this is some of what's been going on with Anna. Everyone's been asking about Anna too. Obviously you can tell from right now she's doing very well. She's walking around really good after she had her steroid shot. And we did get her turned out with the rest of the horses. It was pretty uneventful and she got into one little scuffle with Aline. Other than that, it was pretty event uneventful and she's now out in the pasture with the rest of the herd and enjoys her time out here. But she's doing really well. Gaining lots of weight, still eating tons and enjoying her retirement. Hi, Miley's. Yay! 
you say hi to all your fans? Yeah, all your fans love you. I know you hate the camera. I know. That's okay, though. I know you're such a pretty girl, though. They want to see your face. Yeah. I know you're such a pretty girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Good girl, mamas. Yeah, say hi. Yeah. You have lots of fans. I know, we hate the camera. I know, it's okay. You're okay, mamas. Yeah. Here comes Freya. We are running. I have no idea why. And she goes right with the donkeys. Every time. She's kind of part of the donkey herd, which I think is adorable. But that's Sophie. And Miley, and again, that's Anna. Freya's with the donkeys. And then we got Paisley, who's right there, and Charlie's scratching his head on a tree. And then Big Mama, there's Aline. And Cammie's over there in the back. I don't think you can see her probably, but she's back there too. But that's little baby Madison. She's getting so big. Yeah. What you doing, little one? They grow up so fast. That's Mabel. This was a video of Anna from today, right before dinner. She was standing out in the sun and she just looks so beautiful. She's just a gorgeous horse and we're so glad that we were able to save her. These videos are from a few months ago when we first turned Anna out into the pasture with the rest of the herd. She would walk out in the paddocked area, but really didn't venture out too much out into the actual big pasture. So this was her just venturing around the paddocked area. This was also before her steroid shot. So you will see her limping in a couple of these videos. When Anna first went out with the rest of the horses, she would stay around the outskirts of the paddocked area and really wouldn't go by where Aline and Cammie and the donkeys were eating. She would do her own thing and then eat from the other feeders that we have out there filled with hay. As I mentioned, she did get into one little scuffle with Aline and I caught it on video. Aline is our alpha mare, so she's pretty bossy. Anna's eating lunch today with Charlie. I'm trying to get her used to eating uh, closer to the other horses, so Charlie hasn't tried to kick her or anything like that, so I've got her eating in Freya's stall. So today, we are trying a new adventure, right? Yeah. You're such a pretty girl. Going out into the big pasture area is questionable and a little bit scary. As soon as I put the GoPro away and stopped recording is when she walked out into the pasture and this was when I was walking back to the house I turned around and saw her out in the pasture.
Well, she ventured out into the pasture. I don't know if she can figure out how to get back in, so we're going to go get her. This was a few days after her steroid injection. You can see how much better she was walking. She still limps a little bit from time to time when she tries to get into fights with the other horses over food, but she's doing much better and isn't limping on that back leg, and the swelling is also gone. She also takes Prevacox once a day, which is an anti-inflammatory, and it also helps with the pain of arthritis or anything else that she might have going on in that back leg. When Anna was first venturing out into the pasture area, she would follow the fence line to get back to the barn, but she would always get stuck down in this corner and really couldn't figure out how to get back in. So I put her on a halter and brought her back into the paddock area so she figured it out. Since Anna and Charlie had so many lunch dates, Anna would follow Charlie around out in the pasture area. It was really cute to watch her follow him around. As I mentioned also, she is bossy. I always know when Anna's upset because she has her mare screech, and most of the time you can hear that across the farm. Some days she doesn't like Freya, some days she doesn't like Paisley, and today was definitely one of those days that she did not like Paisley. And then there's times that she just doesn't want to share. Like this. The one thing that Anna does a lot is she sweats, so she needs to be groomed quite often. There were some comments of people wanting to see what I do with the horses on a daily basis, so here is a video of me grooming Anna. It's always fun trying to film videos on your own. I had to put my phone on the ground to get this video and of course the goat in the pen next to Anna where I was brushing her decided that she was going to mess with my camera. There were also questions in the comments on how long it takes to groom these horses, depending on which horse it is and how dirty they are, um, can take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes per horse. So it does take a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it and very relaxing. And it's usually my favorite part of the day because I get to spend extra time with the horses. After she's groomed, she always looks beautiful. Her coat's so shiny and she's put on so much weight. She's just a completely different horse. And this was just a little clip of what she looked like after I finished grooming her. I 
I got a video one night of all the horses going out to the pasture area as a herd. So this was the first time that I've actually seen all eight of them walking out to the pasture together. So this was a pretty awesome moment. The first horse that walked out was Miley. This is Cammy. Coming up on her side is Aline. The other horse on the other side was Sophie. Charlie's walking up behind them right now. And of course, Cammy has to be mean sometimes as well. She's usually mean to Charlie, and this is kind of an example of that. And then Charlie takes it out on Sophie. And then the big man has to come tell mom all about what the big mares just did to him. And that's Sophie. And then Paisley's coming through the gate right now. Followed by Freya. And then Anna's right there in the back. And these are just some pictures that I had taken of Anna and thought I would include them in her video. But I hope you enjoyed this video and an update on Anna. That's pretty much what she's been up to for the last few months. Uh, hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you to everybody that has sent us Alpha Pro, sent us gifts of Alpha Pro. We truly appreciate your support and thank you to the subscriber who sent us a bag of dog treats as well for Dax. So I'm going to do an update video on Dax as well. If you don't know who Dax is, he's a starved dog that showed up on our front doorstep on New Year's Day. So I will do an update on Dax next and Hope to see everyone in Canyon, Texas. If you can't be in Canyon tomorrow for our vendor show, our goat milk soap and all our bath bombs and everything else are online at FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com if you want to go ahead and check those out. If you want to send a gift to the horses of Alpha Pro, uh, we are using Rancher's Supply now. They're actually closer to us. Put their information below and if you do want to send a gift of Alpha Pro or hay or anything like that to the horses, uh, you can go ahead and get those through Rancher's Supply now. So. Um, again, thank you all so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support and more updates coming soon. We've got lots happening around here, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching.